Hello guys, this is Sajid. Today I show you how to create dynamic accordion using the bootstrap. Here is the example of the bootstrap accordion. Here I click on link so respected content will open. Now I show you how to integrate this accordion in your website and make it dynamic. First of all, I copy the this code as it is and paste it in my PHP file. Here you can see I copied the bootstrap accordion code as it is. I did not change anything. Just I include jQuery.js file, bootstrap.js file and bootstrap.css file. Now when I run that URL here you can see I integrated their static accordion as it is like here but on our website each time our accordion is not static sometime it is dynamic so let's see how we can do this accordion dynamic for example, I have written this array here. Let's say this content will come from database and my array will look like this. It's a multidimensional array. Each array has title, content, title, content, title, content. Now I want to make it dynamic. So how can I do this? If you observe the pattern of bootstrap accordion, there are some differences between each section. For example, here you can see this parent div is common. This parent div is common. This will close at the end. This section we need to repeat. Here you can see. There are three sections for our three accordion, uh, three sections for our accordion. Now, here you can see heading one. Here we have given ID heading one, heading one. Now, href here, collapse one hash collapse one and here we have the div with id collapse one so when we click on this link it will open the respective section here so based on that href and id they have managed it so this is the one difference then and this is different for each section here what they have given where is href collapse 2 here is collapse 1 here is collapse 2 collapse 2 for section 3 it will be collapse 3 collapse 3 now next difference is here you can see this anchored tag doesn't have any class attribute but for the next section we have class collapse next one is um, let me find it what's the difference here this class has in class but the respective due doesn't have that in class so we have to manage all this code while making the things dynamic so i am writing the code php for each my variable name is r underscore content a content now as I shown you we have to keep heading 1 or collapse 1 collapse 2 so for that purpose I use the 
one variable i equal to one i plus plus. Now I copy this whole section, first section, and paste it here. Now where I want one here. Okay. So instead of one, I write down PHP echo I. So it will be different and dynamic for each section. So whenever I found one, I replace with echo dollar I. Here is one. Here is one. Is there anyone here? One. One, 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 one. I think I have replaced all one. Okay. So this one is done. Next one is we have to give one class colors here for the section except the one. So I write down code here if my dollar i is greater than 1 means if it is not a first section echo class equal to collapse. Next one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm area expanded true for the first section and for the next section I am sure it is false here. Yeah. So I have written logic here. If no I use echo echo dollar i equal to equal to one then true else false is there anything I think we have given that class in yeah this in class will only for first section so I use if loop if dollar i equals to equals to one echo in now make it our title dynamic echo a contained title and also my description echo a contained content so I think we have make it dynamic Let's test it. First, I commented all this static content. Now I am refreshing my page. Oh, line number 38. What I wrong? PHP. Where we made the mistake? Echo dollar i equal to equal to one. Oh, here I missed the Turner question mark. Here we go. Very simple. Now our accordion is dynamic. So I hope you understand the tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching video. Have a nice day.